freaking out. Yeah, this is not a stable patient to go home. Because he, he, he's, he's not stable to go home. And he's beating the hell out of himself and biting himself. <laughs> James. James. Hi, James. <laughs> Are you happy, James? Yeah. He's happy. He's had a terrible meltdown, behavioral meltdown at the hospital. Turned out he had an ear infection and, and an ulcer on the back of the throat. Now here he is, totally happy and calm. And all it took to mitigate the aut autism behavioral meltdown, that was a rapid acute one that came out of practically nowhere and baffled everyone and took up to seven nurses and five firemen, five firemen to get him on a gurney, seven nurses at the hospital to calm him down, all over an ear infection, which he's now receiving treatment for, and a sore throat because of a small o ulcer I think they call it apthosomitis or something. But that's it. That's what caused an incredible meltdown for a au severely autistic person. Just FYI, that's why it's important to rule out underlying eti uh, etiologies, medical, that are causing behavioral problems with autistic people. You don't just give them antipsychotics and call it a day. See, that's the result of properly treating an autistic person who has a medical problem. Now that's what we want, right?